Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ree and I make fashion and lifestyle content. So today I have a really exciting video. I'm going to show you guys my coat collection. So if you live in a colder climate, coats are basically your entire outfit for six months out of the year. So over the last few years, I've definitely accumulated and built a you know a nice little coat collection so I'm excited to show you that today if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like and comment it definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate that so okay let's get right into this video okay so starting with the newest item in my wardrobe the newest coat in my wardrobe which is actually going back sadly but if you see here it looks like the max mara teddy coat which is just an iconic coat and if you care about outerwear it's definitely on most people's wish list of a coat that they definitely really really want to have in their wardrobe so i found this on mango and i thought it was a great dupe but when it came in i was so excited i was so so excited i found it during the black friday sale and i'm like oh my gosh the color is spot on and everything and i thought just the the colors the lapel here was going to be really great but once getting it like do i even need to say anymore i got a size large and i thought that size was going to be great for me i wanted it to be nice and oversized and it's just it's just not it's also very lightweight like for a teddy coat you want it to keep you warm in the winter months obviously so i thought i could get away with this being like my winter coat definitely not it's going to go back but i thought i would show you guys the coat but basically the pockets aren't even lined the it's just it's very lightweight it feels very cheap it almost feel, feels like i could have got it from like a really cheap store like almost like a pretty little things or um like even aliexpress like it's definitely not a good quality coat so i would definitely suggest that you guys skip over this one even though um it looks great online next up i have this long wool coat from aritzia i think it's from babaton but i'm not too sure it's called the slouch coat this coat is just a really lovely oversized coat i got this coat i think it's size large or size medium but i wanted something that was going to be very oversized i love it because it hits like basically to my ankles and that's kind of what i was looking for like something that's just really slouchy really big i found this one and i really liked it the only thing is it's not very heavy weight and that's something that i was looking for in a wool coat i just like when you put it on and there's some weight to it it's heavy you know it's going to keep you warm and this one is not it uh, but it is definitely a nicer coat and if you're looking for something that's not so so warm then i think this would be a good option also if you get a bigger size you it's already oversized but if you get a bigger size you can layer under it and so hopefully that will keep you warm but i would think this is a fall early winter coat it definitely is not like middle of winter coat i wouldn't bring this out if i was going somewhere far double breasted so i can just like button it up here you definitely don't notice anything else except for the coat and the pockets are lined that's definitely something i always look for in coats if the pockets aren't lined and they're kind of like a um, silky material like um polyester or whatever material i'm just like disgusted because it's a winter coat i just want to put my hand somewhere and make sure they're going to be warm and cozy but yeah so that's something i look for okay so this is my trench coat from oaken fort i've had this one for a few years now and i still love it as much as the first day that i picked it up i remember i was on like a crazy hunt for a trench coat and i think i saw it online and it was sold out and then i went into store and it wasn't there and I was like looking and I was asking them and they're like oh my gosh I think it's gone and we were all looking around the whole store and I ended up trying on another trench coat that didn't work out and then when I was putting it back I found it at the way back of a rack like you couldn't even see it you had to like dig and there was one left so I think someone tried to hide it for when they came back and got it or something but 
yeah I'm still so happy with this one it looks really high-end it looks like really great quality which it is and it's in this gorgeous gorgeous brown color it's almost like craft paper you know the craft paper color it's like that same color and I just I'm, I'm obsessed I think it looks really great when I pair it with anything in the fall months um, I always pull this out in the fall but it's a little bit too winter looking for the spring time so it's only like a fall coat but oh I love it I love how long the sleeves are I think it's a unisex um, style love the color love the fit and it just works so well when I want to layer things underneath it. Okay, this one here is my dog walking coat. It's just a bomber puffer. And yeah, I just use this one typically when I'm going to walk my dog or if I'm running to the grocery store, just something like really quick. I'll bring this one. It's just like easy. I even, I even have my mittens in here. I have like red mittens because you always want to be seen in the dark okay because a lot of people wear black coats but you always need to make sure you have something bright on you so then you don't get hit down by a car so anyways just your little safety tips from me to you the only thing about this coat I always do this test do you see and it's short on my wrist so I always have to wear like a sweater that's long and I always like bring it down the sleeves down and that's what happens when you have longer arms I'm 5'8", so that's something that's always at the top of my mind, like when getting a coat or whatever, but I just feel like it's pretty practical. It even has this reflective strip at the back, so when I'm walking my dog at night or if I'm doing anything at night, I know I'm going to be seen by the cars, and I just, again, I think that's very important because when you live in the city too, you're usually like jaywalking or doing things like that, so you just want to make sure that people can see you because it gets really dark. Um, so yeah, this is just my standard coat and it's from a brand called Norden. Okay, this coat is one of my favorites. It's from Topshop and I think it was $50 on sale and I was so happy when I found it. So it's just in this lovely ivory white color. It's like a creamy ivory white and it's just so cozy. Like look at this. Oh, it's so cozy. It's very warm. Like it's so much warmer then the mango coat and the mango coat was more expensive and it just looked warmer because it was really long and stuff so this is kind of what i would expect from that mango coat but yeah i don't wear it so so often because we've been in the pandemic so i haven't really worn it so much but i love this with like a nice crossbody over top and just like you know just to like cinch this in a little bit so then it keeps me even more warm okay let's do the arm test so it's definitely not so long on the arms. And I think I got this in a size large. Like, hello, people have different length of arms. So, you know, it's pretty short. Like, not so short, but I definitely will wear something longer because I love when sleeves, like, hit me to my knuckles. That's, like, my favorite length of sleeves. But this is just so cozy, and I just feel, like, rich. I feel rich when I wear this because I feel like a little snow white you know i feel like a little angel so this is definitely one of my favorites and it comes at a really lovely length the pockets are not lined it has that like polyester feel inside but what can you ask for for 50 dollars? okay next up we have this beautiful brownie green coat that i got from zara a few years back i think it must be like four years ago now that i've had this and i'm still so excited to wear it every year which is so great it makes me know that i made the right purchase so it's kind of in this pukey color which may not be for everyone but i personally love the color i get complimented so much when i wear this coat because it just looks it just looks really great and i think you don't usually see this color and in this style together i love the buttons here let me show you they're plastic but it's in this really lovely tortoise color and yeah they're just like really big exaggerated buttons and then it's just like a simple streamlined coat there's really nothing to it so much but i just really love it i actually my aunt keeps asking if she can have this coat and it looks so good on her i think it even looks better on her than it does on me but i'm like i'm so sorry i can't get this too because i just love it but yeah the arms again 
are pretty short, but obviously it's winter time or colder weather time, so I definitely layer underneath to make it, you know, work for me. Okay, so I actually thrifted this Carhartt jacket from Kensington, and I just, yeah, I just really like it. It's really easy. It's super boxy. It's really short. It's like a crop style, and I love the color of it. Again, it's similar to my, um, to my trench coat and like that lovely like brown craft looking paper type of look, and I just think it's just great. It's just really casual when you're just running around doing some errands you want to look a little bit more you know just casual a little bit maybe more like cool and i just think it's great it's really heavyweight it's really structured and super boxy i really love how long the sleeves are the sleeves are really nice it even has like this kind of cuffing inside so the cold doesn't really get into your like sleeves area and yeah so it's definitely like a workwear coat um but you can definitely still wear it and use it whenever you want i actually share this coat with my boyfriend so he typically wears it more than me but sometimes i bring it out when i'm feeling like a little cool okay so this one is my everyday coat i actually thrifted this from valley village for 13 dollars yes $13 it was a complete steal and this is the coat that I'm wearing most days when I'm just going out it's this lovely just slate gray coat let me yeah I just turned off the light so you can kind of see it a little bit better and I got it from the men's section so it's like a trench coat but it's not like a typical trench coat it's like a puffer it's it's like a coat so it's really nice and puffy it's like really padded and I really just love that about it it has lovely pockets that are lined inside the sleeves are a really lovely length it has so many pockets inside so if I don't want to bring a bag I could just like throw my wallet my keys in here like do you see that just really nice and big and yeah so at the back it just looks like your typical trench it has that tie detailing it has the slit so this is the coat that i've been wearing the most recently but i know that when it gets colder like january february i'm going to have to bring out something warmer because it's not the warmest coat it's not like down felt or anything it's just padded i believe but um, it still keeps me warm and I love how long it is. I love the color, it's just a little bit different. And I kind of feel like Inspector Gadget. I actually haven't worn this coat so much this season. It's a wool coat and it's a little bit on the shorter side. Like it just covers my bum, but um, it's not so long. I have this in a gorgeous, like beautiful, deep, deep forest green color. Oh, it's just such a lovely green. I picked this up from Massimo Duty maybe two years ago, two years or so ago. Um, I love Massimo Duty. There's just such great things there. And I got this on a really nice discount. It has these lovely buttons. Like, can you see that detailing? I love the shape of them too. They're like a little bit curved, which just gives it a really just lovely touch. And those are the things that make Things look a little bit more unique, a little bit more expensive. And it's just a really cool, easy style. And I know that I'll have it for years to come because it's just so good. It's so good. Okay, so this is my Big Bird coat. It's in a lovely orangey, yellowy color. It looks a little bit more orangey, just like a touch. Um, but yeah, this is just a really lovely, long, textured wool coat. I picked this up from... Top shop many years ago. Um, I don't really wear it so so often, but when I feel a like in the mood, like something a bit extra, because wearing coats in the winter can get exhausting wearing the same kind of style. And usually people tend to, you know, move more towards like black or the gray, like really dark colors. So when I feel like I just want to be a sunshine, I'll pull this one out. So maybe like twice a year, not often at all but yeah i like it it's just it's just kind of casual i'm really liking oversized things right now so i kind of wish this was a little bit more oversized 
but um, it's still really good. Okay, so I also picked this coat up recently from Valley Village. If you're interested to see what I picked up, because I picked many other things up, not just outerwear, then go check out my previous videos. I'll also link it down below. But I picked this up from Valley Village um, for maybe $30. I can't really remember. But this coat makes me think of Saks Pots. Let me turn off the light. Again, I just think it gives a truer color for some of the lighter coats. But yeah, um, it reminds me of Saks Pots. I love the fur like collar here and then the fur cuffs. Just feels very elegant, very just like, you know. But then also reminds me of the 70s. Just kind of just cool, a little bit like hippie. So yeah, I'm a fan of this coat. It's in this lovely, just like taupey creamy color and then the sleeves are just like a nice like off-white color the only thing i don't like about this coat is the back detailing i could have definitely done without that but it's not enough for me to just like not wear it i love the sleeves and i love the length that it hits me at it's just something a little bit more interesting you don't see it all the time it's not something i'm gonna wear all the time probably similar to my yellowy orangey coat I'm just gonna bring it out a few times a year but that's enough for me okay so this is a lovely long lined denim jacket I'm not going to show like all of my lighter weight jackets because it doesn't make sense for this time of year but I thought I would show this one just because I do bring this out a lot in the fall because it's longer like in the late fall because it's longer um, but yeah, it's in this lovely, like, corally pinky color. Just love that color. I picked it up from Club Monaco, I think, last year, or even the year before last year. I think the year before. Actually, no, it was last year. And it just comes in handy a lot. I love just the very wide sleeves here. They're just really wide. They're nice and long. I think it goes really lovely with my skin tone. I just think it complements really nicely. I'm just not the biggest fan of the huge silver buttons. Um, I think eventually I may switch them out. But it's kind of tough because it's not like your classic button. It's like a pop closure. So it may be a bit more difficult. I don't know if I care that much. But it is something that I wish. It was just kind of like almost like a seamless, you know, um button like similar color or even just like a really lovely brown color just to complement i just think this silver just is unnecessary like who who came up with that you know kind of thing okay i'm going to show you guys my three leather jackets back to back to back because just to get them out of the way so I found this one at Value Village again. It was just such a great find. It was $50, but I got 30% off of that. And it's just like vintage denier, which is incredible. It was in the men's section, so it's really lovely oversized. It's just like a lovely classic cut. It's just like the classic leather jacket, something just like oversized, something that's just a little bit worn in. And I've been looking for a really great leather jacket for a long time, so I found three. I went a bit overboard, but um, this is definitely one of my favorites. And while I picked up that Denier one, I found this one too. This one's a little bit more motorcycle inspired. It's a little bit shorter, so it's more of a bomber. Again, in the men's section, really, really long sleeves, but I love that. I'm obsessed with that. And I just... I love it. I think I love this one more because I think I'll get more wear out of it. But I just couldn't leave either of them behind, so I needed it. But um, as you can see here, it has like two really nice little clasps here at the back. And it's just like really simple, really easy. But I know I'll get tons of wear out of it um, in like the fall months and also springtime. Okay, so this is the first one that I found. I actually found this one on a different day than those two. And it's my least favorite. It's definitely my least favorite. I think it's vegan leather, which is really nice. But um, it's really light. It's not very warm. And yeah, it's, it's still nice. I, that's why I picked it up, obviously. But it's just, I found two that I loved. And I only like this one. So I think I'll try to find somebody to give it to. Okay, so this is another wool jacket. This is definitely one that's more fall time appropriate. I 
I would not bring this quote out right now, but I still thought to show you guys because I bring this out every fall. Um, I got this one from Massimo Duty as well, and it's in this lovely, just like true blue color. Like, look at that. It's just such a lovely blue. And it just like pairs really nicely with any outfit. I love putting chunky sweaters underneath it. And it's the perfect wool coat to bring out when the seasons are starting to change, when it starts getting a little bit more nippy out, but you don't need like an actual like heavier wool coat. So it's a great transition piece, but look at it. I just love it. I love it. Okay, so this one is another find from Value Village. I'm definitely like there all the time now i'm such a fan of value village but this is in the men's section it's this lovely green trench coat and this is one is definitely more springtime appropriate like spring early summer and it's just like super lightweight it's just a really nice fit i'm definitely loving looking the most for outerwear in value village because there's just so many great things, so many great things. So yeah, just your classic trench coat. Okay, so lastly, we have my final trench coat. It's in this lovely, like subtle muted green color, like a taupey green, and I'm just obsessed. I love it so much. Again, from Value Village, it's definitely a heavier weight trench coat, perfect for fall, and it's just a beautiful length on me. It goes basically down to my calves. It's really lovely and oversized. I think I said that. Definitely what I enjoy in my coats is something that's just a bit bigger oversized so then I can layer underneath it. That's always what I'm looking for. Okay guys, that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching my coat collection. I actually didn't show you guys my TNA puffer, super puff coat. I had that one, like I think the first season it came out, but. Um, I'm definitely going to get rid of that one and get a new like winter winter coat. I'm thinking about getting the cloud coat from I think it's Wilfred. I'll put it up on screen, but I'm looking at that one for this year because I don't have a winter winter coat like a coat that you go to when it's freezing cold outside. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like and comment. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate your guys' support. Only if you enjoyed this video, of course. And let me know what coats that you have on your wish list because I'm always looking. I am always looking. Okay guys, until next time, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you then. Bye.